dear students today i am going to give an basic introduction about uml diagrams uh, before start open the star uml software we have to understand that the basic introduction part of uml diagrams so it will easy to implement your diagrams in an effective way right so here it's a that is uml diagrams it's developed by grady bush iver jacobson and james rambers it's created in the year of 1995 when they are working in the traditional software in 1997 object management group it's adopted the uml diagrams and as you know very well that full form of uml diagrams which is also called as unified modeling language the uml diagram it represent the actors roles actions classes and etc for example you are working in a project before start or uh, that is uh, develop your project in that computer science students you can easily understand that the process or the life cycle of your software development so it's a start from the to collect the data and we have to plan the data and third stage we have to design fourth stage we have to implement that software and fifth stage we have to test the product or the applications whatever you are creating the last stage we are going to deploy or deliver that project into that client here so after collecting your information the next stage we are going to plan your project or we have to fix the timeline of your project how long time it takes to complete your module how many modules you are going to present so whether all the information which is uh, collected before start your project these kind of things which is we have to focus on before start your uh, that project this is the life cycle of your software development right here we mentioned that the designing stage that's a third level it is called as a design so the designing part which is comes under here as the form of uml diagrams what it mean before creating or before developing our software project we have to design or we have to give the visual representation of your entire project with the help of uml diagrams so that's why they mentioned as the actors involved in your project what's the roles of their work and what kind of actions is they are going to perform how many classes you are going to create that what's the association with the classes and the object everything we are representing in that form of visual so here that uml diagrams are categorized into there are two different major uh, way either it comes under structural diagram or we can call it as behavioral diagram so in case if you are taking the structural diagram it is the static view or the structure of your system the same way when we are going to discuss about behavioral diagram it's a dynamic view of your system or we can call it as behavioral of your system or behavior of your system right so here just i mentioned that that uml diagrams which is categorized into either structural or it may be comes under behavioral diagram right in case if we are taking or we are discussing about behavioral diagram there are four major categories we can comes under behavioral diagram the first one it's a activity diagram second one it's a state machine diagram third one is the use case diagram fourth one is the interaction diagram 
So in that upcoming videos, when we are working in that star UML, I will give the detailed information about each diagram. Now, just I am giving that uh, the major introduction part of your UML, right? Here, that interaction diagram, we have four more categories which we can divide into that. That first one, it's the communication diagram. The second one, it's the interaction overview diagram. Third one, it's the sequence diagram. Fourth one is the timing diagram. So these eight are diagrams, different diagrams, which is comes under behavioral part. Or it's a dynamic view. It's a depends upon the situation. It's a depends upon the interaction with that, uh, that system. The activity, it will be react or the activity, it will be changed. That's why we call it as, which is called as a dynamic view of your system. Right? So it comes under structural diagram. So that first one, it's the class diagram. Second one is the component diagram. Third one, it's the object diagram. Fourth one is the composite diagram. Fifth one, it's the deployment diagram. That last one, it's the package diagram. So here around six major categories, which is comes under structural. Here first four categories comes under behavioral diagram. That interaction diagram alone, we can categorize into four more subdivisions. Right? So this is the basic introduction about UML diagrams. I hope this video is helpful to know about the basic introduction part of your UML diagrams. In the upcoming videos, I will explain one by one how we are going to create a diagram and what's the, the speeches which is comes under each diagram in a detailed manner. Thank you. Thanks for watching.